as hotel rooms quickly fill up with evacuees from Hurricane Dorian. You know, a lot of homeowners, colleges, churches, everybody's opening up space for those in need of shelter. Morning Star Ministries in Fort Mill is housing 400 seniors, and those seniors came up from Hilton Head. Yeah, they evacuated as Dorian was barreling toward the coast. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us live from Fort Mill. Brandon, this generosity really a part of a much larger story here. Absolutely, Sarah and Bill, and more so for the positive part. If you ever wondered what 400 people in one room eating looks like, this is it right here. So many people out here enjoying this free meal. Of course, there is the challenge when it comes to these coastal communities and vulnerable populations when it comes to hurricanes. Mandatory evacuation orders and everything else. The booming voices of South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster and state emergency leaders echo throughout Morning Star Ministries. Uh, are out there right now ready to support. As retirees like Tom Connor listen for clues as to when all 400 of them can return home to Hilton Head. Once Hurricane Dorian moves on, for Connor, this has almost become a yearly tradition. This is my third visit here in the last four years, so it's it's always been great. For myself and my wife, it's summer camp for however long it takes. Morningstar Ministries founder Rick Joyner started this as part of his ministry's goal to help seniors, especially those along the coast living near the path of a hurricane. We're not sure how long they're going to be here until they assess the damage to their property. But not all seniors are able to get this kind of treatment. Just last year, researchers from Virginia Tech found the Carolinas have a disproportionately high number of seniors living on the coast. The study says that makes evacuations more challenging and it creates unique physical and mental health risks. Morningstar hopes supporting as many seniors as they can will make evacuation less stressful. Everybody's just been great. So they settled in. They're, they're so well taken taken care of, there's not a whole lot to worry about. And Morningstar says they still need more volunteers, especially to help out with things like giving out meals and when it comes time to clean up, sending people out to the coast to help. Reporting live in Fort Mill, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.